Hi, welcome to class. We're the only two right now, but the other ones will show up eventually, right? Hmm. I hate my life. I hate my life. Hey, Professor Sunrise Productions! Hello class, Professor Sunrise here. Today's video has turned out a little bit differently. What I initially planned was to have a very solid combo guide for you guys, not only going over like a very basic two card combo and the most supreme creme de la creme two card combo there is. In addition to that, I wanted to give you guys very solid information about everything Dragon Ring related, my priorities when coming off, what I want to resolve guaranteed, what I want to resolve if only as possible, etc, etc. Where do this, where do these priorities change? All of that. As it turns out, that's way too long for such a video. At least I think so. I'm just asking you guys, do you guys want to have a very in-depth Dragon Link guide, be it like 20 to 30 minutes? Or do you guys just want to have me condense all of that information into like a, at least very readable spreadsheet so that you, that you guys can just take a look at that and then I can give you like rough combo marks, where the priorities lie and where are the exceptions to those priorities when I go over different stuff. So do you guys are interested in a very in-depth video or do you guys just want to have a very easy to read spreadsheet for, for, for me, for you guys so that you can get better at drangling? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. I will be taking a look at those. And without further ado, let's take a look at today's combo guide. So for the very first two card combo, we have one saver plus rocket tracer. Also reason why three tracers is really solid is because these types of combo lines um, are very solid, especially without a gamma anymore, having a way to send for the safer effect, but not itself is going to be huge. So tracer really helps with that. So we normal summon safer effect, sending the tracer. And we will be searching, of course, the Wyvern Burster. Not only is it very safe to play around and ash with that, but it's also very important to keep the safer into the graveyard as well. And we banish the um, Tracer here, and then we link off into the Striker Dragon. Effect Striker and Wyvern Burster trigger here. We will be searching a Boot Sector. And a Collab. We summon the Collab, banishing the Wyvern Burster. And then we go into the Romulus, effect Romulus, searching the Ravine. At this point, the combos diverge. Like I said earlier, if we want to go for a Borderland, this is the time where we have to decide to go for that. Or if we want to go for the very standard, because we know it's not going to be all too crazy matchup, we want to go for the more safe play. So let's go for the more safe play. In this case, that, that would be to immediately turn these into a seal. Use the Dragon Ravine. Effect Dragon, Dragon Ravine, pitch something. It's going to be a boot sector in this case because we don't have Rocket Engine uh, in this hand whatsoever. And then we will be sending a Serenia. Effect Serenia, send a Lubellion. Then we have Saferd here, banish at the Lubellion. Use the Lubellion, search a Magnumid, summon the Magnumid out by banishing. In this case, it's going to be the Collab Serpent. Effect Magnumid, and then we tribute that off for the Lubellion. And then we activate the Lubellion, get the Branded Beast, and face Search Drew's Room. This is the very standard two-card combo, but there are multiple ways to play this one out. Um, for example, if we have any Bestial, if we have a Serenia, if we have a Lubellion in our hand, the Dragon Ravine would have sent an Absurata to get into the Rocket Engine. Uh, if we had lots of non-engine here, we definitely go for this play. If we have no non-engine whatsoever and we play against Kishira, we're going to play out the combo a little differently. So this was the spot, and like I said, if we have no non-engine here and we're playing against Kishira and we cannot go, like we have three bricks in our hand, for whatever, we have triple Dark Ruler and we're going first, we're going to play it out a little differently. We link this off into a Pisty. We're still going to use the Dragon Ravine, um, still probably going to pitch the Boot Sector in this hand exactly, and we are still sending a Lubellion, or a Serenia and send a Lubellion. Then we're going to still use the Seyfert here and still get the Lubellion. We use the Lubellion, get the Magnumid. Then we use the Magnumid, we're still doing that boring play here, we banish that, uh, we still tribute it off, in this case we will be getting Branded Beast or Regained, it's personal preference at this point, um, Regained is probably a little bit safer but Branded Beast can also just be fine, and then we turn these two into a Triple Burst, Effect Triple Burst, we summon the Tracer, and here we still have two options. We could still make Seal Savage Pass with the Branded Beast. That's a very safe thing. It just plays way more into a Nibiru. And if we have nothing, we can definitely do that. If we are like, okay, if they have a Nibiru, we will just lose to that. We could do that. But we could also 
use the effect of Tracer here to pop the ravine. Dark lock us and summon a recharger if I can find it. Where's our recharger? Am I blind? There it is. Then we link those off into a borrowland. Effect borrowland on the recharger. Make a savage with that. Effect savage. Get the triple burst. But like I said, we don't have to go for that. We could have also done the following, and we could have just linked those two off because we are not actually dark locked yet and just summon a seal and then use the tracer to pop the ravine and summon our recharge. I think it's in the graveyard. Oh, the Book of Moon just got there. And then we use those to go into a savage. And suddenly we have the full, full combo. The only thing which we did is playing into N Nibiru. But because we are, of course, our insane human beings, we can just maybe read in the opponent when the Nibiru is. Because there are certain times where you have to Nibiru there unless you, uh, you, you risk playing into stuff like a seal or into stuff like a savage or into stuff like a Baron. So we just have to make the read. And if we... If you like the opponent doesn't have any mirror there, and we know we end up against Kashtira, maybe we play out the combo like this, and instead of going into um, the seal pass without the savage, we play a little more into a Nibiru and at least get a savage with that, and then we have like the full combo, everything which we want to end on. Or we know we're up against Kashtira, we really want to have the Burrowland, we know that deck build, they don't play like Lava Golem, stuff like that game one, we go for the, uh, the Burrowland line. Overall, this two card combo of Seyfried plus Tracer just offers so much diversity because having Seyfried plus Tracer gives you the access into a very guaranteed bestial package because of the Ravine. It gives you access into Tracer if you want to commit your lines even further and you don't get disrupted at all of this. It can be very easy to extend those lines with any bestial in the hand. It can make it very easy to play around certain stuffs or to play more into certain hand traps, play more into your opponent's bestials. Overall, this is a very nice two card combo to get used to because it gives you basically access into everything. It gives you access into seal pass, it gives you access into borrow and savage, it gives you access into seal with a savage plus like the basic board but just playing a little more into Nibiru if you have to. Overall, if you want to get good at Drangling, you always want to take a look at this two card combo of Safer plus Tracer and then you just want to build around that knowledge. And if you got to know this line perfectly and you can play it into all of the opponent's possible answers, you're gonna get very good at Drangling. But because not all of our combos can be as glorious as having Seyfried plus Tracer or like Seyfried plus any other Bistile or having Seyfried at all. And for this, I decided to play my deck a little differently and I have the Triple Serenia. So I have these types of lines way more available to me, which is any random normal summon could be anything as long as it's a dragon plus a Serenia. And we normal summon the dragon. You link it off into a striker dragon here, effect striker. You could even argue to not search with striker uh, with boot sector here, just to not play into a roll as often, but it's it's bullshit. You just have to, at, at, in a hand like this, you just have to accept the opponent having the blowouts against you. So use your Serenia, summon it. Now we go into a Romulus, effect Romulus 1, Serenia 2. Very important here. Send the Lubellion and search the Ravine. If we have nothing else here, we already used the Recharger, so the amount of value we can get off a Rocket Engine in this turn is going to be very minimal minimalistic. And as well, of course, we don't have anything at all, but even if we had a Tracer here, for example, it's going to be hard to get value off that, so we're definitely going to use the Boot Sector and uh, the Ravine to pitch the Boot Sector here. Overall, like I said earlier, a very clean way to know if you're a good drag player or not is the amount of failure you get off the boot sector knowing when to just pitch it knowing when to keep it is going to be very crucial for you guys so we will be sending a safer here then we use the safer to add the rebellion then we use the rebellion to add a magnumid some of the magnumid always keep link monsters in the graveyard for savage plays don't be stupid like me uh, sometimes do that on local when I'm not like focusing on the game. Resolve the Magnemid, Effect Lubellion, get the Branded Beast. In this hand, arguably, I would probably go for like the um, Branded Regan because we have Triple Book of Moon, but those are, of course, just placeholders. And then go for a Seal. End phase, Magnemid at the Druze Worm. So just of these two cards, we got a Seal plus Branded Priest Druze Worm. That is two disruptions, uh, one double pop and one bounce. 
plus one line of follow-up, plus still three cards in hand, and even a ravine, which gives basically guaranteed follow-up if it stays on the board, and it basically turns every draw into follow-up. So this is a very basic two-card combos, and this is what the deck usually can always end on because we have a 90% chance to see a dragon normal summon, and then basically any bestial gets us there, um, or like if we have two bestials, we can make in a tomb, etc., etc. So this is what the deck at least tries to accomplish. It doesn't have the uh, decent amount of non-engine to make this a win condition. If I'd be playing like 12 or even more uh, non-engine slots, and I could consistently get into this, I would 100% play it, but because we cannot really play enough non-engine to facilitate a gameplay like that, we have to commit a little more with our combos. But overall, this is the bare minimum of what you can do. This is a very easy combo, and then you have the safer plus Tracer uh, lines, which uh, diverge into three other whole combos, depending on your needs, depending on the matchup. And for a full combo, like I said, take a look at the feature match. This is where I go in the full combo, because these are always super random, and they come up on the fly um, there's like no two card combo which gets you there. I don't even think there's a very clean three card combo which gets you there. It's mostly four to five card combos which get you to the full hand trip. More, more like between three and four will get you there. But because these are super unrealistic and I already did them on the channel in the last video, just take a look at that. And that's basically it for the combo tutorial. I at least in my opinion showcase you guys everything which you need to know. Like the very, very first easy tips and tricks for all of the engines. And then like the very most basic, most important combos which you need to know. I hopefully give you guys even more content in the upcoming future. Um, the weather is killing me right now. So staying inside playing Yu-Gi-Oh! All, all day, every day is not as cool as it sounds. At least for me right now. But I hopefully can give you guys enough content of Dragons. So that you can get even better at the deck. And hopefully even some more generic content which you can of course all apply to your dragon knowledge but overall more generic content to get you guys even better at the game not only when it comes to dragons but also just in-game decision making evaluating board states whatever whatever everything which makes it good not only dragon pilot but also a good Yu-Gi-Oh pilot in general hope you guys enjoyed today's class class is dismissed you guys are free to leave professor sunrise out P -p 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 peace